Welcome to Knock Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh. And today we're here to talk about Daryl's spinoff of The Walking Dead. Some first look. Yeah, some first look photos. Nothing too major, but anything that we can get on the spinoff will work. So as of right now, we still don't know a lot of details about it. We only know that Daryl is captured. mysteriously taken, taken over to France unwillingly. Uh, part of a mission, possibly maybe from Maggie's mission of you know finding out stuff for the future finding out other civilizations partially him looking for maybe michonne and rick but i don't think that's the focus of his mission um as he told judith if he does see anything or hears anything he'll find them and bring them back but i think the reason that he is going out is for maggie's kind of mission and something happens he gets taken across the ocean by boat by submarine by jet we don't know <laughs> we, 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 we also don't know the timeline either we don't uh, know the timeline we if, don't know if there's going to be a time skip for yeah, it it's two um, years after the finale three years after does the finale. he find rick and michonne and get too close to crm and then that's when he gets taken that's the biggest thing does this have anything to do with crm uh I, we there's potential that they are going to focus a little bit from the world beyond finale of the stuff going on in france of the true variant walkers ones that are highly intelligent who can possibly run um you know primrose team that kind of thing from that end credit that post credit scene so we'll have to wait and see but uh let's get into these three photos uh just three here just three just three um look at daryl there interesting he's taken and he's got a new outfit. Doesn't have his vest. He's got a regular jacket, a shirt. Looks clean, man. He does look clean. I'm not sure if that's a scarf or that's just them pulling down what he had over his eyes to cover his eyes. And the the people behind him, their their attire is interesting. In, interesting, uh, yeah. Because that is definitely not CRM type uh, no. attire. What that does look like is that one community, um, that art community. Oh, yeah, kind, kind of. of. It yeah. just reminds me of that. From World Beyond, yeah. yeah. The... Yeah, that's interesting. A perimeter or whatever. Perimeter team, yeah. Here's a kind of a cool shot. That's in Paris. That's definitely, yeah, definitely. Well, I've heard they're shooting in also in Paris and also a couple towns just kind of outside of it, but that looks um, like. But that's very European, correct? Very that's European, what I meant. yeah. Look, horse and carriage, pretty sweet. Daryl, um, regular jacket. Mm, looks like he might be having the same jeans and shoes so it might be all right maybe they stole his jacket to make piss him off like take your jacket motherfucker <laughs> uh, but i like that building behind you i mean that's that's definitely european so cool and then um is this are these some variant walkers like what's what's going on here you can't really tell interesting it's, yeah you can't tell you can't really tell but we'll have to wait and see but uh yeah, and then just the known kind of Daryl Dixon. They're really series. doing this. They are really doing this. They are. And, and guys, don't get us wrong. I mean, we're we're excited for anything The Walking Dead. We're excited for these spinoffs. It's just wrapping just wrapping your brain about okay, take take Daryl leaving the series finale. He's he's leaving, you know, Judas says I want you to have a happy ending, you know, Carol, you know, they all think that they are going to see Daryl again. But the fact that now we know that when Daryl leaves, however long it takes, he's going to be taken across the ocean. So okay? now, now that's going to take a long time to get back. Now we're going to say uh, we can't wait for Daryl to get back yeah. <laughs> instead of Rick. Right. Um, I will say this. I will be very pissed off if we don't get the reunion. Like. Yeah. Give me the reunion of Rick and Daryl before you do this spinoff, please. I don't think we'll get it because what? Come on! I so here's the thing, guys. Um, you you can't have a reunion in both spinoffs. It it won't work. You're gonna have to have one or the other. And I'm highly thinking the the reunion will fit better with the Rick and Michelle. No, no, that's series, what I right. I completely understand. But My, I'm hoping this is after those events, right? And that's the thing. The timeline of the spinoff to how long it takes for Rick and Michonne to get back. Um, Which and, one's airing first? We don't know. Don't yet. know right now. I they're both actually Daryl is shooting now. Rick and Michonne, I don't think have started shooting yet. They might I don't think they've started shooting yet. So I think probably the Daryl spinoff is gonna start first. Um we still don't know if it's gonna be multiple seasons. They they kind of said it could be multiple seasons, but <laughs> they kind of have to see what they're gonna how they're gonna write it and what they're gonna do. You know, if they want to make it a limited series, one to two seasons, 
for the Daryl thing, okay, get him back. And then from what we're hearing so far about the Rick and Michonne series is that one is potentially only going to be six episodes and nothing further. So that's a lot of information they got to put in six episodes for nine plus years. And then to get Rick and Michonne back. So then Daryl's back to have the reunion that we want. <laughs> you got to do it. Um, <clears throat> but which, but yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting how they write the, the timeline and sequence of events for both series, especially to then get Daryl to come back across the ocean to get back home with, um, with maybe he brings more people. Yeah. Uh, Rick's brother, you know, I've heard, <laughs> I have heard some rumors about that. They were like, well, wouldn't it be cool if kind of changing it up, uh, if you guys know what we're talking about, we're talking about a, a source material piece, not written by Robert Kirkman, but somebody else uh, called The Alien. And it and was Robert a, Kirk, Kirkman approved it. Robert Kirkman approved it. Yeah. Um, but it was about Rick Grimes' brother. And he lived over in Spain during the apocalypse. And I won't spoil it because I want you to read it. But it was a very cool story. And so I've heard somebody talking about, well, maybe they can do the same thing, change it up a bit. So instead of Rick li- Rick's brother living in Spain... He's in France. Yeah. And he runs into him. Which now, is that, not that far, right? That I could get down with. Yeah. I could get down with. Yeah. And but then having his him reunite with his brother, which we won't really have an emotional attachment to his brother other than the spinoff, it would be interesting. There was It'd one reference of Rick's family. <clears throat> one. One. Very early. One single reference. Very and early. that was by Lori Grimes. Uh-huh. Yeah, um very early I, within like the first couple episodes. Yeah, it was very early. So I mean that you you could make that work. Um really depends also of how much they're gonna be going into from the world beyond post credit scene with these super highly intelligent walkers. I I wanna see it. I want I since he's gonna be in France, I wanna see stuff about the Primrose team, the Violet team, yeah. and about in the whole world Dude, beyond post credit scene. I wanna see pre apocalyptic apocalyptic event. Mm-hmm. Within France. Oh, I, like a flashback? Yes, show dude. It? Yeah, yes. dude. We love seeing the start of the fall. It'd be cool to show a flashback of what went down in France or in Paris and maybe the villages outside of Paris, wherever Daryl is um, at the start of the fall. And then kind of sprinkle in minor things about the post credit scene from World Beyond, about the Primrose team and all that. And then, you know, them seeing their first eye. Like, I'll, this is what I, I can't wait to see. I want them to be explaining to Daryl, like he says the word walkers, and he explains how the how those how the zombies were over in America, and then they start explaining to him how the zomb- how the walkers are or the zombies are here in France, and he like I don't believe you, bullshit, right? And then like they bring him up like maybe o- to look over a wall or something, and you just see these things just running <laughs> <laughs> like chasing like chasing animals like chasing like deer and shit trying to get them to eat them and you see them running yeah, and jumping pretty, and climbing wall like oh yeah it'd be pretty sweet be insane and daryl's just like oh my crossbow ain't gonna do shit yeah and, and they're like oh you had it easy in america <laughs> you had it easy with them walking in a crossbow you can't use a crossbow now unless they're no, just you standing could. still <laughs> you could unless they're standing still yeah but once they see you they start running at you <laughs> <laughs> oh it'd be so crazy yeah dude it's uh, so i mean we're, we're pumped for it it's just like with, with a lot of other fans when we heard about that he just ends up in france we just can't get our head around that yeah, like I, why it has to be connected. why france it, it has to be connected to crm <laughs> there's there's no other reason to do it yeah i wouldn't i will have to disagree it does to me it doesn't have to no be. i'm not saying well, it doesn't have to be but it I, could be uh, the other group i'm leaning but, i'm leaning towards crm I'm leaning towards maybe a partial CRM, partial something else. Maybe CRM isn't going to be the big boy in the story. It might be part of it. The big boy will be whatever he's going to be dealing with over in France, and that's the big boy, and that he wants to get the hell out of there because when he gets back home and tells the family, like, hey, we are lucky we're here Yeah. because guess what's happening over in France? Those fuckers run. <laughs> <laughs> and they're highly intelligent. Like, you know, you should not, not highly they remember i'm just going I'm off i'm just going off the world beyond scene so she gets shot in the back it seemed like she 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 went right for the door because it seemed like she remembered that she just got shot in the back and whoever shot her went it's out like, that door and like, she was trying to get out it was like revenge it's like i want to get you yeah so i mean there's a, there's a little more highly intelligence we've seen it in the finale with the variant walkers some of them not all which is cool it's yeah. a slow my it's a slow mutation you could say but maybe over in Europe, it's it, they mutated a lot faster. Yeah, a lot faster due to 
the experiments that the French were doing to try to fix the virus, and they actually made the virus worse, worse which is, again, going from the seeds of world beyond. So yeah, guys, uh, quick first look, nothing too major. Daryl does look cool. He looks, he looks a lot cleaner. At least um, in the first shot. Before. The first shot. Yeah, it looks a little bit different, but uh, stay tuned. As you guys know, we'll definitely be uh, full steam ahead with the series once we get more information, more pictures, more teasers, all that jilly jazz. Yep. We're doing it all. Yep. So we got a ton of stuff in 2023 to do for Walking Dead. Oh, it's going to be stuff, good. Period. ton of stuff, period. And I, and I really hope, here's one thing I really hope, guys. I really hope they do another Tales of the Walking Dead, but do it a little bit differently. Mm. Do it differently. Do it differently. How about that. Do it differently. <laughs> yeah. We'll do another video on that. But they should do something. But Do the, more of our characters. Do more of our characters, yeah. older characters, or maybe the characters that we that we that we know of yeah. and expand something else with them. That's all I really yeah. know. So once again, guys, if you enjoyed, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more with us. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're Nation. We're up. Right.